Number two, don't trust user input. No way. No way. The best way to mitigate this type of risk is to put security measures around user input. Hello, my name is Mark Janelle Jr. If you're new here, I do cyber related videos. So SQL injection, what is it? Well, we're going to cover it to it and let's cover it right now. So this is Katie, this is courtesy of Katie Terrell, Hannah and Sarah Lewis at techtarget.com. Okay, so a SQL injection is a is a technique that attackers use to gain unauthorized access to a web application database by adding a string of malicious code to a database query. A SQL injection manipulates SQL code to provide access to protected resources such as sensitive data or execute malicious ex, uh, SQL statements. When when executed correctly, right, a SQL injection can expose intellectual property, customer data, or the administrative credentials of a private business. SQL injection attacks can be used to target any application that uses a SQL database, with websites being the most common prey. Common SQL databases include MySQL, Oracle, and SQL Server. SQL injections are considered one of the most common security exploits as evidenced by their presence on the list of OWASP top 10 threats to web application security. The risk of SQLI exploits and the damage they can cause have both grown with the availability of automated tools for executing SQL injections. In the past, the likelihood of an enterprise being targeted with a SQL injection was somewhat limited because attackers had to carry out these exploits manually. So how does the SQL injection attack work? A SQL query is a request for some action to be performed on an application database. Queries can also be used to run operating system commands. Each query includes a set of parameters that ensure only desired records are returned when a user runs the query. During a SQL injection, attackers exploit this by injecting malicious code into the query's input form. The first step of a SQL injection attack is to study how the targeted database functions. This is done by submitting a variety of random values into the query to observe how the server responds. Attackers then use what they've learned about the database to craft a query. The server will interpret and then execute as a SQL command. For example, a database may store information about customers who have made a purchase with customer ID numbers. Instead of searching for specific customer ID, an attacker may insert um, quotation customer ID equals a thousand or one equals one quotation in the input field since the statement one equals one is always true. The SQL query would return all available customer IDs and any corresponding data. This allows the attacker to circumvent authentication and gain administrator level access. In addition to returning unauthorized information, SQL attacks can be written to delete an entire database, bypass the need for credentials, and remove, or remove records or add unwanted data. So how many types of SQL injection attacks are there, you ask? Okay, so there are a few different types of SQL injection attacks. Number one, we have in-band SQLI, also known as a classic SQLI. An in-band SQLI is when hackers use the same channel or band to launch database errors and to collect the results from an attack. An in-band SQLI is most commonly achieved through two methods, error-based and union-based attacks. Error-based uh, injection uh, techniques force the database to produce error messages that reveal information about the structure of the database. Union-based attacks use prepared statements to exploit the SQL union function, which combines the results of multiple queries in one result. Next, we have uh, inferential SQLI, also known as blind SQL injection, which is an inferential SQLI is when hackers send data payloads to a database server to observe its response and behavior without being able to see what actually uh, occurring within the database. 
the server's response provides the attacker with clues that they can use to adjust their attack strategy. An inferential SQLI can be either Boolean or time-based. A Boolean SQLI uses true or false statements to solicit a response, while a time-based SQLI sets a designated response period. Next, we have out-of-band SQLI. An out-of-band SQLI is when hackers take advantage of domain name system or HTTP uh, request to retrieve data. An out-of-band SQLI is usually only performed when a web server is too slow or when an in-band SQLI is not possible to execute. So, how can an SQLI injection attack be detected and prevented? This is a nice one. If a SQL injection attack is successfully carried out, it can cause extensive damage by, explo by exposing sensitive data and damaging customer trust. That's why it is important to detect this type of attack in a timely manner. Web application of firewalls are the most common tool used to filter out SQLI attacks, right? Web application firewalls based on a library of updated attack signatures and can be configured to flag malicious SQL uh, queries in web applications. Some of the things that you can do, train employees on prevention methods. It is important that IT teams, including DevOps pros, system admins, and software, develop te software development teams receive proper security training to understand how SQLI attacks happen and how they can be prevented in web applications. Number two, don't trust user input. Any user input provided in, an, in a SQL query increases the likelihood for a successful SQL injection. The best way to mitigate this type of risk is to put security measures around user input. Number three, use an allow list instead of a block list. Validating and filtering user input via an allow list as opposed to a block list is recommended because cyber criminals can usually bypass a block list. So, uh, what do you guys think of an SQL injection? Do you think I've covered as many bases possible as, as how to prevent it? Please let me know in the comment section. Let's get the conversation started. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate you. I love you. You're a part of the hack pack. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. You are a part of the hack pack. Stay safe.